man on cover. Right, in the same magazine as, uh, as the one with the, with the cat and the fire and that. Don't tell me that story again, it gives me the shit. Yeah, a cat that's <laughs> got a weird expression on his yeah. face <laughs> is against God. Anyway, this isn't a scary story, this was just, uh, like physics. Explained. Physics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it right. was going on about the, uh, nuclear bomb and uh, how powerful it is. And, uh, <laughs> they put, they put a manhole cover on top of one. <laughs> okay. Blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> Never saw the manhole cover again. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive, Carl. <laughs> Unexplained. What's going on there? Something weird is happening there. <laughs> oh. oh. If anyone has ever seen that manual cover, <laughs> yeah, uh, please yeah. get in touch. We'd love to know where it is. Oh, that's fantastic. Finally, White Van Man, what do you make of the fact that Sainsbury's are bringing in square tins? <laughs> 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 is, is that, that true? a concern for you? <laughs> is that true? Apparently so. Why? Don't know. Like it's easier to stack. Oh, this is what the guy in the uh, sun has said. That should be interesting. For <laughs> 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 that should be. <laughs> <laughs> His comment on <laughs> Sainsbury's are bringing in square tins <laughs> is no. Is that should be interesting for meatballs. <laughs> Ricky's just oh. collapsed on the floor. Let's just play a song, Carl. I don't think even you can top that. Right, so, so listen, what we're doing now, are we doing, uh, are we getting a debate going about... Actually, right? Go on. We're struggling, go on. No, no. You can help me out here, Carl. You've got an idea. I can see it in your eyes. He's got a brilliant idea. Wait for it. Go on. No, no. It's something, when I was looking on the web, yeah. found something out. Go on. Um, it's a story about mm. a woman who had a baby, <laughs> who had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what? A, a, a woman yeah. who had a baby who was having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it was no, it was no clearer when you repeated it. No, Carl, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do for the common good, right? Pursue this line of inquiry, right? Because I don't know where it's going, or play a record. I I'm actually torn. I don't know what to do. No, I remember seeing it and thinking I've got to tell Ricky about that. It's brilliant. What? Uh, should we, what should we do? Should we should we go with it? It's, uh, I mean, it's like it's entering into the abyss. It's opening Pandora's box. It's, <laughs> it's peeking. It's going down to the cellar. I've got a couple of questions though. Go on then. Well, come down there with me. Okay, <laughs> come down right, in the cellar with me. Okay, right, Carl. What, 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 first of all, it was on the way, what, what, what do you mean? The, the baby was what? Had another, but was it, she didn't give birth, they didn't, the doctor didn't find one of those set of Chinese dolls up her. It's Russian, Russian's dolls, whatever that's, they're called. That's, that's what I pictured it like, those, those dolls where you take the head off and there's another one in there that all look the same, but no, the story was, <laughs> there's a woman who's- No, don't just say it again, that's a headline. That's not a story. There was a woman who had a baby, who had a baby. <laughs> yeah. That's not a story. That, um, imagine handing that in as a, th as a thesis to loads of the BMA. Hey, are that? There you go, and, uh, yeah. read that. That's a, said, that's a children's rhyme. Yeah. There was a woman who had a baby who had a baby. What do you mean? So the ba- she had a baby, yeah. right? Yeah. And, uh, that bit's fine. We're yeah, okay with that. That's normal. That's normal. A totally woman had a child. Yeah, totally normal. She gave birth. Fine. Yeah. Next. Well, I, I, I don't know that much more, apart from the fact that the baby's like roaming about <laughs> and then uh, twelve, like twelve months later, she's like, oh. Interesting. So the gestation period of the, that baby was actually three months more than an adult. Yeah. Excellent. It's weird though, isn't it? So was the headline, my baby's twelve months pregnant? <laughs> what are you talking about? Twelve months later, it had a, what are you talking about? Forget it. it. No, you haven't, you haven't even finished the story. That you said, and twelve months later, you didn't even finish the sentence. So what do you mean? No, I didn't. I didn't read any more into it because I just saw you that didn't and I thought, read what? That's, that's weird. And then I just was thinking, oh, like imagine the kid at school at parents' evening. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. And it's like, well, your kid's pretty good. Now, now let's have a look at your work, sort of thing. <laughs> Don't you think that'd be weird? <laughs> but what? Did the child have a baby? Yeah. Of course it didn't! Play record! We shouldn't have gone down in the cellar. <laughs> we should have I just can't. left the cellar door closed. I, I never learn. That's the zombies and a song called Time of the Season. I've enjoyed that. What do you think of zombies, Carl? It's alright, yeah. No, not the, not the group, but the, oh, the, the living dead. Don't worry about them. No? Why? 
Not about it, are they? It couldn't happen. <laughs> you don't right, believe listen, in that? Listen, listen, right? You don't believe in zombies? So, I was looking But you do believe online. a baby had a baby? Yeah. On you go, on you go. Are you still saying that didn't happen? Yes. Right, well I'll find the thing again and I'll print it off and well, then you'll read it. Well, all I'm saying is there's more information that we need. Yeah. yeah. but- but it always annoys me that when I do get the information you'll go, yeah but it's named Sally, you didn't say that, I make out- No. As if- No, 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 no don't, do, ma don't do. make it look like w we're over inquisitive or over cynical. You come out with the- the most abominable things man has ever uttered <laughs> and you expect <laughs> us to accept them. Usually headlines, usually uh, illogical, not just probably wrong. So, fleas are born pregnant. <laughs> Are they? Interesting. Yeah. Right. Okay. See? On we go. So See, that's true and you're not impressed. Cause it doesn't involve a little werewolf child. Or half man, half shark. So you're, you're just not- it's not good enough for you. No, but what I- what, I- if I read the first line of something and it's not- not that interesting, I go, next, right, and I move <laughs> on. Now when I saw a woman had a baby, and it had a baby, I But go, you still Ooh. didn't read on. No, but- I, all right, I didn't read on, but it got me thinking. Like I said, it's you, you wonder about the parents' evening. I was thinking about, <laughs> you know, is it a good thing? <laughs> because you're gonna spend more time with the kid. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of mums who have to go out of work and that. She's gonna be a great mum. Grew up with her, literally. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so She's I, gonna I'm be a great mum! I, I just wonder if I know it sounds weird, but if was it's- it, Was it- was it the- 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 you know the baby that woman had? Was that a girl or a boy? No, it would have been a girl, wouldn't it? Of course it would. It'd be mental, wouldn't it, if it wasn't? Right. <laughs> It'd have been a weird story, wouldn't it? Um, I woke up this morning, yeah. Feeling fine. It's not a blues song. And, uh, I turned my phone on, and it, it was from Carl, and it went, forget it, I've made my mind up. And I thought, wow, what is that? And I Forget it, I've made my yeah, mind up. Yeah, I went, Carl, what is it? He went, oh no, it's about the text I sent you last night. I went, well, what, what was it? I just got this text. He went, ah, oh, oh, I was just wondering, I was, I was thinking last night. He said, supposing you had to have your hands removed. Sure. Right? <laughs> 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 and the doctor said, well, you can either have them stay like that with stumps, or I can sew feet there. <laughs> what would you have? <laughs> and I was bleary eyed and I went, the stumps? He went, yeah. <laughs> I went, all right, he went, yeah. And then and what that, was his follow-up text to that? And then I got the text, it was obviously before it, and it went, and it was like quite serious, what, what would you do if surgeon not your hands, would you have stumps or the feet, right? Now the way, uh, when I said, he's made his mind up, and I went, the stumps, he went, yeah. I think secretly he decided on the feet, <laughs> but he was too embarrassed to tell me. <laughs> There's a little, little bit of what would you do. Cause it's, it, but why night, did you think of this? Why did you think of this? Girlfriend's How did this away, come back? right? Yeah, no, that's not why you start thinking bizarre I'll, surgery I'll tell you devices. Now, right? I'll let you into my little mind, right? Last night, I um, <laughs> I had some beans on toast, right? <laughs> Cause she was away. It's good already. Right? She was away. She had some beans on toast. Right? She went yeah. wild. Yeah. Right. Now I was stood up. I live on like a on a high street, right? So I'm, I'm washing up. I'm looking out the window. First thing that had me attention is I can I can look into other people's flats, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it was weird how all these different lives were going on. I was watching them, and everybody had the telly on and was watching Volcano, right? Which was on last night. Right. right. And I thought, oh, that, that's weird, right? I can see them all watching it. And it was like a little Chinese lad who was dancing around in some underpants. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a little old woman who lives downstairs who was reading a book, and she's always reading a book every night, and it's like, I have a better life than her. And then there's a- there's like some sort of bouncer who's always getting ready to go out late at night. Yeah. With all the black on, he looks like a bouncer. So I was watching all this life yeah. going on, I thought. Did you witness a murder while you were doing <laughs> it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It was like- it was like that sort of sliver film where that bloke had loads of tellies watching yeah, people's sure. lives. So that was going on in my mind. And then I was washing up and I picked up the plate and I thought, oh, it's amazing, isn't it? The- the human body. The way you can just sort of, you know, I wanna pick that up and you do. Yeah. And the way your hands work, right? Yeah, You've got yeah. five little digits, but it's- it's just the right amount to do <laughs> what you- <laughs> Yeah. To do what you've got to do, right? So- <laughs> So I'm- I'm wash- I'm cleaning the plate. <laughs> Sorry, Carl! Stop! It's just the right amount. Might be one of the most genius things I've ever heard said. I would love David Attenborough to phone you up and say, Carl, how do I word this? About the evolution of the mammalian front, uh, limb. Just go, we'll just say it's the right amount, <laughs> But it is. It one, is. One of extra course it is. would get in the way. 
Yeah. And one less would just make it that little bit more tricky when picking up a, a bit of a slippery dish. Sure, or, <laughs> buy, or buying gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> a slippery dish. So then, I, I was thinking, oh. uh, imagine like going to the doctors and they're saying, yeah, everything's alright, your heart's good and everything, but... <laughs> your heart's good? What, your Larry's or...? Yeah, your heart, your heart, <laughs> yeah. you're, you're in good form and what sure. have you. It's good news, you know, I had Giano in earlier, he's not looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I had fast uh, baller. But yeah. you're, you're alright, but your hands need to come off. <laughs> right. <laughs> Blimey. But, That's bad, like, I'd get a second opinion initially. <laughs> But I bet a good news, I've got a nice pair of feet I can sure. sort you out with. Yeah. And he puts them on, and then I was thinking, right, first of all, <laughs> washing up, what would that be like? <laughs> but, Steve! I, <laughs> that'd be tricky. Yeah. And then the second thing was, it'd probably ruin the, the, sort of the shape of your jumper. Because <laughs> you have to keep putting the feet through there. Yeah. And then I thought, but I could still cycle in. Okay. To work. <laughs> you could run in. Well, that's the thing. You'd was, be like, you'd be really yeah. fast. For... Well, that's what I was thinking. I thought I could still cycle because I could balance, and then I thought, but the only thing is, I probably couldn't pull the brakes <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. because of the little short things. Yeah, yeah. And then, like you, I thought, but then again, you'd run in in half the time. So that's what was going on in last night. Right. That's what I was thinking about. Did sure. you? Did you? How long did this take? <laughs> Well, how long does it take to wash up? Right, because I imagine you just being there for like all night. <laughs> Probably twenty-five minutes. How long did the little Chinese fella dance for in his pants? He's always doing it. Last night he was at it for like ten minutes. Just yeah. And his girlfriend never sits in the same room as him. She's always sat in the bedroom. <laughs> She's going, you you dance in pants again. I go in next yeah. door. Well, she was in the bedroom. She's always in the bedroom, sat on the floor, on the mobile phone. Right. All the time, yeah, it's weird how people's lives are just like, it is like that Groundhog Day thing, it's like, you know, he's jumping about in his underpants, <laughs> the old woman's sat there reading a book. Yeah. And that's what got me thinking about my life. Do you think thought, she ever Are you sure she's not dead? <laughs> 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 Every time you look down there, she's just flicking through it, she's just reading this book. The pages never turn, <laughs> she never seems to finish it, oh, <laughs> she never moves you, from her chair. Are you sure, are you sure the Chinese her girl's going- Her cats are dead around I, her. I, I, I'm going into next door again, that little yeah. round-headed fella's smell. looking in. He's looking in at me, the bouncer goes, don't worry love, I'll go and beat that's, him up. But he's true. always getting ready. That's true, they're they see, they see you staring at him, washing up, going, I could have feet here, and they get yeah. scared. The old woman's dead! <laughs> oh, Carl, dear. can you tell us roughly which neighbourhood you live in? So. So it's, that we know. It's central. Central, is it? Yeah. yeah. Wow, imagine if that little. D was he a Chinese fellow, did you say? Yeah. Imagine <laughs> if he was listening now. I'd love him to call in and explain his actions. Well, he, he might be on some other radio station talking about a lad who's always washing up and <laughs> yeah. looking at his hands in a mysterious way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but do we have this doctor, this doctor that would go, well, all right, Carl, I've got. You can either leave him as stumps or I've got a little pair of feet. Why? Uh, I mean, I t told Jane this and Jane went. Is that the only choice? Is he, you could say, can I have some dead man's hands? <laughs> have you got any? Have, if you, where do you get the feet from? Where do you get the feet from? Can I have? Can I have? What would you rather have then? Human feet or monkey paws? Well, I mean that wasn't an option last night. That if the doctors no. said no, it wasn't an option last night. But don't forget, it's in your head, Carl. <laughs> this didn't happen. No, this but I'm just saying. At the time, that's all the doctor had to offer. But you know, it's your head. You can go anywhere. No, no, no. It wasn't a real doctor to offer. It's in your head. You can go anywhere. You're not trapped. Yeah, but if you can do anything, then you'd say we'll sort us out some other hands. <laughs> Fair point. Let's play so, record. So. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta come back to this. Oh, something I want to ask you, Carl. I, there's that program on now. I forget what it's called. Is it something like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner? Does that? Oh, you, I, did, were... I did the um, non-broadcast pilot for that because right, my yeah. mate was the uh, well, you know, um, the Phil Balker was yeah, producing sure. it, and I did it. You know, and the premise just... of it is that it's it's one of those things about you know a conversation piece, the ultimate dinner party. I think you can yeah, have six, six invite people, six guests, um, dead, alive, or fictional, or fictional, yeah. Um, and uh, you know, you, you choose where you want it, and uh, yeah. And anyway, I was just intrigued to know what Carl's um, ultimate dinner party. Who who would who would pop round? Any of your cheeky freaks? So what's this? I, I'm putting on a- You're putting on a, uh, an imaginary dinner party. Anne Robinson's there, she's gotta be there. I said I didn't invite you, she said, well I'm there anyway. Yeah. So it was actually me, Anne Robinson and six people. Yeah. And, and I they... chose people like heroes like Muhammad Ali, Homer Simpson, or stuff like that, you know, James Randi, yeah. So you could choose it anyone. Living or dead, why. fictional or otherwise. Right. Would it- would it- would it look like a circus from the- the 18th century? I'd have- I'd have a f- I'll have like a few freaks in there. Like what? Who would you have? Well, the first person I'd have is probably, uh probably have 
Elvis. I had Elvis. I chose Elvis. Why would you have Elvis? It's just good, wasn't he? It was good at what he did. Right. Just have a but once you'd said that to him, what, what would the rest of the conversation be? I'd say sing us a song. Right, so you make him sing a song. Yeah, okay. he'd, he'd be the, like the entertainment for the night. Mm. When he's not on the stage performing, I'd probably have the elephant man there. Right. right. So John Merrick, yeah? Yeah, John Merrick. Okay, I've got there, a, just... Elvis, John Merrick. If anyone's out there and, you know, uh, you have anything to do, can you write down everything Carl says from now to a year and send it to me and Steve because you might want to put it in a book? Yes. Is that, is that, would that be good? Just maybe someone keep a journal of everything That's Carl right. does and says and yeah. we'll try and keep a scrapbook of pictures. T tell you who I would have. Who? Peter Kay. Right. He'd be good, he'd be brilliant. I don't know, I'd be sat next to him because he's... Well, you, I mean, you're friends with yeah, Ricky Gervais, why would you wanna... No, but, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Peter, Peter. Kay. All right, Peter Kay. Yeah. Which one, which one, uh, would you do him as himself or one of his characters he does? Just as he is. Yeah. He's, a, he's funny, he's a funny man. Yeah. Love him. Um. What else? Probably, uh that, that fella who, who lost his arm when he was climbing that mountain. Remember? He had to cut few, it off his own weeks ago. Oh, right? Yeah. Why, why would you have him? I'd just, I'd just like to have a chat with him and say, you know, what, what happened there then? Yeah. Well, we know what happened there, he cut his arm normal. off. What no, would you no. say? Did it hurt? Yes, it hurt. But I don't think it would hurt, that's one of the questions. What are you talking about? I reckon the shock cancelled any pain out. If you're stuck there with a boulder on your arm, you've probably got bad pins and needles, right? Yeah. With a big rock on your arm. Yeah. And you'd say, right, so how long were you sat there before you said, well, I've got to cut this off? Um, did you read about it? It was amazing. What do you think the other people would be doing when you were talking about this bloke about cutting his own arm? John Merrick wouldn't mind. He, 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 Alvis, Alvis would probably be off his head on summer. Elephant Man would be having a couple of bumps. I hope Peter Kay didn't make a, a funny comment. I hope he doesn't make a funny comment. <laughs> yeah. Right? Can I just, um, can I just, a quick warning? I'll just put bloke with, bloke with one arm, bloke with- Be careful, Carl, what you serve for dinner. Yeah. Cause he's only got the one arm. Yeah. So, you know, certain things. I mean, maybe suggest, um, something you can eat with chopsticks. Or a hamburger. A hamburger. But don't go with something like lobster. Trick, you need both hands for that. Unless him and John Merrick teamed up, I think they've got one good arm each. Yeah. Well, Soup, maybe. Uh. What would you give John Merrick? Buns? Couple of, yeah, couple of buns. Mm -hmm. Um. Have uh, that woman, that woman in the boat who went round the world. Why? Just to see, you know, what, what, how she managed. Pretty that, boring what, guests, it? really. Hey, but boring. What do you mean? Boring? What was she going to say? What she said was she was going. Well, I didn't see a lot. I was in a cabin. Really, there's a lot of water. A lot of water. I was a bit scared. The main thing I'd want to ask her, right? Because I remember when she did it, <laughs> and uh, there was an interview with her, <laughs> and her parents were there or something. And, uh, her man was saying how she's dead proud because, uh, she, she decided to, you know, go around the world in a boat as a kid instead of just hanging around on street corners mm. and stuff. Um, she said, uh, didn't, she didn't want her daughter to, like, be messing about on the streets that night on her own and stuff. She yeah, was a yeah. responsible mother. Yeah. Yeah, she sent her off on a boat. Sure. In the middle of the Atlantic. On her own. Yeah. So I'd like to ask her about I that. I think even Manchester's safer than that, isn't it? Yeah. And I'd have, uh, probably another woman, so, to chat to her, probably go for, uh, <laughs> Kim, Kim Marsh. <laughs> Kim Marsh? So, sorry, sorry, you'd have the woman who sailed around the world, right, but you'd have to have another woman for her to have someone to talk to. Well, why invite either of them then? If you don't want to talk to either of them yourself. What, what, sorry, I love this. The... Round the world yachtswoman, round world yachtswoman, and Kim Marsh. But uh, why, of all the women you could invite, <laughs> Kim I Marsh that. is at the top no, of the No, that's list. the best list I've ever heard. <laughs> Alvis John Merrick, Peter Kay, a bloke with one arm, the round the world yachtswoman chatting to Kim Marsh. <laughs> that is genius. Why haven't they invited you on this show? I'm gonna call Anne Robinson. Right, okay. If anyone's listening to that, have Carl Pilkington on. I know no one knows who he is yet, but what a great bit of conversation. Play a record, Carl, you're an idiot. Some smack. Oh, always a treat. Yeah, we played uh, some, something from Morris's selection. Something that would be on my ultimate compilation is something from the Smiths. <laughs> and, it, <laughs> and it'll probably be this one. I started something I couldn't finish it. I think that's one of their underrated albums, Rich. Strange Ways, Here We Come. Uh, it's pr might be my favourite. It's my favourite, certainly. Yeah. And uh, that's from the album. I started Queen is something Dead I is a lot of people's favourite, but they, I don't like the wacky ones. It's on the novelty ones. It's, the it's ones... got some great ones. I think he's got his, some of his best tunes on there, but I don't know the frankly Mr. Shank. Yeah, yeah, he's always got this, this tendency to sort of write music hall style songs. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah but that's, that's a great one, that. Um, so there you go. Alvis, John Merrick, Peter Kay, bloke with one arm, woman who sailed around the world,
Kim Marsh. What I like about those two, number, number, numbers four and five, he ha doesn't even know their names. Yeah. I'm hoping he'll just write on the invitation, <laughs> dear <laughs> bloke with one arm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Having a dinner party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, it's better than uh, most, but I imagine most people when they do it is if they go, uh, Nelson Mandela. I know, of course, uh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think I read an interview with Mick Hucknall where it was something like, who, who do you admire? Nelson Mandela. Brilliant. I was re I don't read papers when I'm in this country. When I was, uh, on holiday, I read one, and there was an article in there about Beckham meeting him. And the article was about how many people have met him. And I was thinking, we are the only three people that haven't met him. <laughs> Nelson Mandela, yeah. It, it's just like, uh, does he rent himself out? Do you know well, what I mean? It's like the back of the, you know, in the back of the stage when you can get a Caprice look-alike to yeah. wander around. They go, is that a look-alike? No, that's really him. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Forty quid, he'll come to your party. <laughs> I think what it is is that he was locked up for so long. Yeah, he's, he's now just he's never home. home. He's a social. He's, he's just... like Salman Rushdie. He's running around. I've seen yeah. him twice. Yeah, he's, uh, his <laughs> house know. must be a tip. He's never yeah. in. God. Well, I think it is. If you if you if you stay indoors for a long time, yeah, you've got to get out of there. You've got to get, you out get out of a the bit world. stir crazy, I suppose. But he has met. He's met um, some of the great names in world <laughs> events. Obviously, he's met the Spice Girls, <laughs> Alan <laughs> Titchmarsh. <laughs> he's met him. Yeah, they did his garden, didn't they? Yeah, David yeah. Beckham. Yeah. Oh, that must have been great. But I mean, maybe we could hold out and never meet him. <laughs> yeah, that's this is like even if we get invited to one of them, where I go, no, yeah, not really. One no. of the we're the, we're the only three people who've never met yeah. Nelson Mandela. I'm not meeting him until I make sure he's definitely going straight. You know what I mean? I don't don't really. I like to hang out with people who don't No, well, I wouldn't invite him to my ultimate dinner party in case, you know, the silverware went missing. Oh! Well, you don't know, he was inside for a long time. You know, they pick up things in, the, in these places. <laughs> you can pick stuff up. It's usually Carl that comes out with those sort of things. Carl, what do you think of that? Well, Nelson not having him around because he's necking. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. let's back out now. Let's back out now while we're ahead. Be good right. in, uh, Celebrity Big Brother. Yeah. Being used to being locked up and that. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I started something. I couldn't finish. Yeah. Let's. Absolutely. Should we play another record or should we talk about some. Uh, um, on a lighter note, Muffy the Hamster <laughs> had a narrow escape <laughs> with a. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> play a song. Let's have the rock oh, oh, answer. Oh, God. Nirvana, yeah. in their version of the man who sold the world to David Bowie tune. Yeah. Good. Good tune. Good tune. Taken good tune. from that uh, new Nirvana compilation. I like that version, I like the David Bowie version. You can't decide, can you, Rick? You're torn. In fact, I like the Lulu version as well. Is there a Lulu version? Maybe we should play that one, wow. Rick. Yeah. Was this recorded, what, in the 70s? I think she recorded it about the same time right. as David Bowie. I, I, don't, I don't know if he released it as a single. I think it was just on a... Yeah, so, uh, off the album. Interesting. Carl, Carl, Carl is studying. Okay, what's the next yeah. one? What's the uh, Educating well, Ricky? I don't know, uh... See, like I say, I was lo looking around and there's stuff that is interesting. Right? I was looking on the web. But, but there's no point. Well, it's just that I found one about, uh um, What's the point? About a lad who, uh, eight years old, yeah. but he's still breastfed. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if you can get anything out of that. <laughs> Is that what his mum said? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you mean, I don't know if I can get anything out of that? You don't need to. No, it's, it's just that, you know- Where did you read that? That was on the internet. Oh. oh. Well, yeah. Um, You're always unspec unspecific when you mention it. It's just it was on the internet. Well, yeah. I'm trying to think what I put in. I think I put in Y to see if I'd confuse the computer. <laughs> Go! You are. No, I did, I did it, a, no honestly. I, I did a search, put in why, and I ca he came yeah. up with funny things that, like, why d is this person doing that? Why is that? And it had a picture of this eight year old lad, sort of, you know, <laughs> on his mum's nipple. And, um, it was saying, you know, <laughs> is, is, is this healthy? <laughs> ooh, ooh. You sure that wasn't asking you that question? <laughs> Uh, what? You, I put in why? Just to confuse the computer. The computer. <laughs> like the computer going, what do you mean? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Oh, look, uh, yeah. Uh, Last week, uh, I was walking, um, uh, home with him, and I went, uh, I got a, he was saying something stupid, and I went, I've got a competition for next week, let's do a phone-in, and it's called Carl Pilkington, genius or fool. Yeah. Right? And he went, no. No. I went, why not? He went, well, uh, it'd be confusing, because they say, there's no difference between genius and being a fool. <laughs> we do that, don't we? No, no, that's, no, no that? but it, it's rubbish and people say there's a fine line between madness and genius and, oh. you know, it's a ridiculous soundbite. Uh, they don't say there's a fine line between a genius <laughs> and an idiot. Well, the people who do are idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what, what would you do there, though, just to sort of wrap that little thing up? What would you do? That lad loves his mum's, 
his mum's milk. What are you What are you asking me to come up with? <laughs> no, I'm just- A title <laughs> for the- the story- No, 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 it's what? just- it's just what would you do? Right. What do you mean, what would I do? Well, it's causing a bit of a problem in the area. Right? <laughs> what area? In- in America, I think it was. Oh, America a problem, are they? George Bush is worried about this kid well, who's no, breastfeeding right. at eight. Imagine it like this. Right. Right. But, so, Carl, what are you asking me? About this spurious story you saw on the internet. I saw on the internet. There's yeah. an eight-year-old lad, he likes his mum's milk. Yeah. And it's saying, is this right? Should it? No, be it's not. On? But what? What? What, <laughs> what do you want Ricky to do about it? It's not his responsibility. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but but the little town that he lives in, they're all yeah. causing an uproar, right? <laughs> Going, this isn't right. You know, no. I can't let my kid play out in case he's in the garden with his mum getting a bit hungry, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> oh God, what should they do? Because his mum's saying, well, he likes it. Yeah. And he, you know, what? So what do you do? I don't know the laws. <laughs> No, but I'm not asking you to sort out the laws. I'm just saying, if you lived in that neighbourhood, what yeah. would you say? If you went up to him and said, "Look, everyone's getting a bit fed up with this." Look, I'd say, what, 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 what would I do? What do you mean? What would I do? <laughs> what, what are you asking me? <laughs> right, it doesn't matter. No, 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 no. What are you asking me? What are you asking me and Steve and well, the I'm public? I'm just saying. Say if you live next door to this woman. Yeah. Right. The kid's hungry. Eight years old. He's out playing on his bike and he goes, Mum, I'm getting a bit peckish and he goes, All right, son. She whops one out <laughs> Um and he starts having his having his milk, right? <laughs> you live you live next door, you're putting your washing out and you see this going on. <laughs> you're getting a bit sick of it because it's gone on for months. <laughs> Eight so, years, I see. Why is it your business? Just why are you why are you such a nosy neighbour that you're concerned? What would you do, Carl? Let's turn it back on him. Yeah. What would you do? What's your solution? What would you do? Well, I thought I'd say, right, why are you doing this? And she'd say, um, because he likes it. And I'd go, all right then, put it in a bowl first. <laughs> Genius. So and you think that would sort that out? No, because uh, I was thinking about the whole thing, right, and you do that when you're a baby and everything's all right, innit? Yeah. You yeah. go on bats an eyelid, sure. have a little baby, having, having a bit of milk from its mum's right. breast, right? Yeah. You'd almost say it was natural. But you grow out of it. It's like, you don't see. It got me thinking about things you don't see. And you don't see. <laughs> Did you put this into a computer? Show me things you don't see. What else no. don't you see? Well, you don't see, like, an old man having a Twix. <laughs> <laughs> you never... <laughs> oh! So what? Oh, <laughs> You know the you know the terrible thing about all this, Steve, is he's right. You don't see an old no, man. No, no, that's a terrible but, thing. But, so what they have got, right, they've made old man toffees, haven't they? They've come up with all <laughs> Is is that a song? Oh, oh God. You don't see an old man. No. No, listen now. So they've got their worthers, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> You think you're giving a lecture at Oxford? It's, it's not going anywhere. No, go know? on, sorry. Go on. I'm what? just saying. Right. You grow out of things. Yeah. And the old man, I'm sure when he was a kid, he'd have a twit. <laughs> yeah. But now it doesn't look right, so he's having. <laughs> it doesn't look right! So. Right. I don't think Werther's originals were specially designed for old people. I think they were sweets that just happened to have been made for years. Mm. That's why old people eat them. Yeah. They didn't go, hang on, there's a market here. I've <laughs> noticed old people aren't eating Twixes. Quick, let's make some yeah. old man sweets. But the, the, the little yeah. advert, he gives it to his grandson as well, doesn't he? He goes, I have a Werther's original. Oh, I so think it, it cuts though before he throws it back in his face and goes, <laughs> get, get me a Twix. <laughs> and a damn curly whirly granddad, you old <laughs> fool. <laughs> Either come back around XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkerton. I asked Carl in the week, right, what animal would he never trust? <laughs> Even if he, he got to know it and it was a pet and everything, what animal would he never trust? What was it? Was this uh, a wasp? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why wouldn't you trust a wasp, Carl? I just think that, um, They're shifty? All- all other animals, if you get them at an early age, <laughs> you can sort of <laughs> make them like you. You can that. train them, <laughs> A wasp. Nothing. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything- you, do you think there's anything you could do that would kind of, uh, win the favour and win the trust of a wasp? What would you have to do, do you think? Well, have you had it from a little grub? Yeah. And you fed it- you had it's favourite marmalade. It doesn't affect it though, does it? A bee <laughs> dies, doesn't it, if it does it, so it's not gonna, like, use it willy-nilly. <laughs> 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 that's the 
that's easy for you to say. But a wasp. <laughs> uh, 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 Do you, what, they, you think they sting arbitrarily? They just sting for the fun of it? They're like, like sort of like delinquent insects? Like delinquent I think so, because last yeah. night, right, I mean this is part of educating Ricky in a way, but something I learned last night mm. was that tarantulas only bite you if you annoy it. Right. They don't, they don't, mm. do you know how people say, oh, if you're in a sleeping bag living in a jungle, a spider will get in there and it'll bite you. Yeah, Apparently yeah. not, you've got to really annoy it. The thing that it really hates is having its leg sort of twisted. <laughs> <laughs> it hates having its leg <laughs> twisted. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. But, but that's more for- Is that what they said in a documentary? <laughs> No, no, I don't she said she almost certainly so. not, Steve. Almost certainly not. Were you watching not. the documentary? No, 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 I was reading it. Oh, you're reading it. And um, it was this guy. Was it scrawled on the wall? Seemed <laughs> like a public toilet. No, I'll tell <laughs> no, you. No. I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. Oh, it's right, part of the, the uh, thing. Okay, okay. So, part if you don't trust the, the evil wasp, what uh, animal do you trust? What's your favourite? Well, I animal? also uh, asked. <laughs> right. Supposing your your mind, right, was put your mind got put into any animal, right, and you've got to get from where you are now, right. To Glasgow, right, as an animal, right? But the authorities will be looking out for it. <laughs> okay. And it's shooting you, right? And, uh, what, what you went through loads, didn't you? I was thinking about it for, th it must have took me about an hour. So your yeah. mind, sorry, your mind has been put into an animal. And, well, yeah, so it's you and, and you, this animal thinking right, yeah. you've got to get to somewhere. But the, but the maybe, maybe know you're in the animal? Yeah, maybe your body is in Glasgow or something and you've got to get this animal to get to you so it can transfer its mind back into your body. But yeah. the but government knows that I'm. Oh, <laughs> we've all had that conversation. <laughs> So the government, the government's going, Carl can't have your own brain back. <laughs> I only have it with Carl, don't yeah, I? These conversations yeah. go on, yeah. So yeah, so you're, you're on the way. So think about it, you, you think about it just for a second, so let's recap. <laughs> your, your body's in Scotland. Right. He's the only one that takes my question seriously. Your, your brain is in London. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And there's like loads of security and stuff looking out in the sky for animals or looking on, on the field seeing what's trying- looking a bit suspicious. <laughs> yeah. Trying- trying to get to your body- And they're shooting the them. Brain, and they're shooting everything and killing all the animals. What thing would you pick to get your brain to Scotland that wouldn't get caught? And I reckon I- I've, I've got the answer. A wasp? No, cause think about it, a lot of people get irritated if it sort of wanted to get a lift. <laughs> <laughs> In a car, okay. going down the motorway, if someone's driving it's a, it's a wasp yeah. in the car, it's a yeah. nightmare. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. <laughs> cause a right accident. Yeah. So think of something that people wouldn't, you know. And the clock's ticking as well. You're you know, taking you this really very seriously, yeah. aren't you, Carl? You've only got a you have thought, You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? You have. Yeah. Um, so, uh, something with speed. Yeah, it's something got that can travel quite speedily. Well, well that's, yeah. well, And something that's also inconspicuous. Yeah. 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 Is that the sort of thing you're, you're, well, that's what you're going yeah. to Yeah. Um, and is it a, is it a creature that's uh, that's native to this country? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it is. I've got no idea, Carl. What are you think? Tell him. A flea. A flea. Think Tell him why. It. Think about it. Um, right, this flea. It's got my brain. Mm. <laughs> it's dead small. The flea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks right. for clearing that up. <laughs> yeah. And it's it. So it goes right. I've got to get to Scotland. So it jumps on someone who's going to Euston Station. Right. They they don't know it's there. No. The government can't see it. The mm. <laughs> government can't see it, Steve! <laughs> think about that then! Think if you just tuned in! Yeah. Now, uh, people get on the train, go to Glasgow or Edinburgh, wherever in Scotland mm. it is, it jumps off, it goes right, uh, jumps on someone else who's going the way it needs to go, gets there, still no one's seen it, jumps on me, I get my brain back, yeah. the government are like, Phew. But, and you feel confident that your brain would fit in that of a fleas? Well, you said there was no problem with the size of it. You said you could- That certainly wouldn't be. So. No. <laughs> no. You, I, I pretty much genius. you could download everything you know into a flea. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, well, that's genius. Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, What would you thinking. rather have, right? Um, roller skate feet and there's little wheels, right? Uh, chopstick hands. Yeah? Mm. Instead of hands. Chopsticks instead of hands. Wheels instead of feet. Yeah. Right? Or acne? Uh, How big are the wheels? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take you guys back to the old school? Do you mind if we take, take it back to the old school? Well, yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you uh, gonna lay on me? No, I just- maybe a bit of a Del Sol. Yeah, 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 Is that yeah. a problem? Is it a problem yeah. going back to the old school? No, 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 We don't no, need to go no, 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 As long as it's vinyl shit. It is indeed. Slam it on. I never went. There we go. You two. Electrical Storm. That's great. That's great, I love that. I'm XFM, 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Carl, I want you to tell Steve what you told me in the week. <sighs> about right. the snake, about the anaconda, how to- Right, this is Carl's method 
is not scared of the anaconda, the thirty foot long biggest scariest snake. No, you were talking about stuff, weren't you, about in jungles and that and animals. <laughs> that we do. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I remember reading hmm. about say if you're in the jungle and uh, and you get tired and you go to sleep, right, and you w and you sort of wake up and you feel something on your leg and you look down and it's an anaconda, right? <laughs> Yes. And it's, uh, it's swallowing your feet. Because they, apparently they always go f from the feet up. Uh -huh. They never, they never eat you from the head. So, um... Okay. Um, I, 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 shall, I, shall I save these points to the end? Cause make that's a, Make wrong. a list of the points. Cause they, cause they always eat head first cause the way the fur goes where they, they have to take a capybara or even a rat, they, they take it from the but, head but first But make, 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 sure. make, okay, make, make, make some okay, notes. Okay, so that's wrong. We'll come back okay, to Okay, let's go on. So they always eat you from the feet. Go on. <laughs> so, so they're swallowing your feet and... <laughs> It said on on the on the website, if you wake up and you see this anaconda doing that sort of eating away at your feet, don't panic. Um, don't panic. I'm don't just writing this down. Don't okay. panic. Well done. Okay, go on. Don't uh, don't try and kick it off. Okay. Just let it sort of swallow you, mm -hmm. but only up to your knees. <laughs> okay. okay. Why right. why not kick it off straight away? Because it. Uh, I think it sort of gets a bit angry, it starts thrashing about and it, oh. it can swallow faster, I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm guessing yeah. that bit. Okay. Uh, Just put a question mark by that Okay, there, pop a question mark next so, uh, to uh, yeah. eat so knees. Yeah, so it's up, eat it, knees. So eat it up to your knees. It's, yeah. it's up to your knees yeah, and then yeah, what yeah. you do is, you yeah. get a knife. Yeah. Okay. And you cut. And how do you get a knife? Do you, do you, do you no, walk no. over to the kitchen? I was going to pop over, get knife, where's <laughs> that come from? Get well, you, a knife. you always have a knife. Okay. Always have a knife, of course you do. <laughs> Otherwise <laughs> you're a fool. Always have a knife, okay? okay. Well, Eat, uh, come on. Yeah, yeah. If you're going to go into a jungle- Always have a knife, okay. Always have a knife, yeah. Simple. Um, could I just say something? You know, suppose you've got your wearing combat trousers and the knife is actually in the, the, you know, those, the trousers by the knee, the sort of pocket by the knee. What happens then? You could, I suppose you could still reach in, <laughs> into the mouth, couldn't you? So anyway, you've got a knife. Let's well, say you've got a knife. Let's say you've fallen asleep, the anaconda's chewing your feet, you let it eat up to the knees, you've got a knife, what do you do then, Carl? Right. So it's up to your knees and what you do, you get your knife that you got out of your pocket earlier, um, and you cut it at the mouth, right? Do you know, like either side of the lips. Right. So you're sort of cutting it in half. Right, like a Chelsea and, smile. And it can't, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. It can't do anything. Uh, it wasn't ready for that. It can't move about because it's got, like, your legs in its mouth. Uh-huh. Um, and peel it off and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, my- my main point, really, is this, Carl. Never will an anaconda or any constrictor, python, boa constrictor, uh, just start eating a sleeping man. <laughs> he will crush you to death first. That's why they're called constrictors. They're not called gobblers, are they? <laughs> or holy swallowers. They're called constrictors. Why would he start eating something? Is that how they t take down antelope? Just start chewing their leg? Oh, it's gone off. I'll tell you what, lads. They get together, the snakes got there and said, I'll tell you what, we're losing a lot of prey by just living at their ankles. They're running away. Let's crush them to death first so they can't move, then we can swallow them. You're a fool. So anyway, right, so uh, I was telling him this bit of information because we started a feature last week. Mm -hmm. Well, week before. So Sorry, Carl, first. can we just go back to the crushing you to death first? Yeah, but, well, I read it. He's won, he's won there. He's beating you there, Rick. <laughs> okay. Did I it say what to do if it starts crushing you to death first? No, 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 no. Did it say what to do if, so, supposing it, it, uh, it had this meeting, it had this meeting, and it, it started crushing you and you woke up and it was actually round your chest. And every time you <gasps> try to take a breath and breathe that a little bit, it just tightened his grip because it can feel that. What 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 do you do then? You uh, you sort of tighten yourself up anyway because oh. I've read about that. Yeah. If Go one on. does start wrapping around you, you sort of make yourself into a ball first of all, and it'll wrap around you, but it's all right because you're pre protecting your lungs so it can't crush you, and then you just sort of shout for help and right. you and you, oh, you shout you, shout for help with this thirty foot snake. <laughs> Got do, do, do you know how it works? It gets as tight as it can, it can feel as tight as- actually as tight as it can, right? With these huge, huge muscles, yeah. right? Yep. Right? When you <gasps> leave a bit of breath yeah, out, it tightens again. Don't- you won't be that out of breath, you haven't been running anywhere, so you can just go- What, and- and-, and when do you get the, the new mouthful of oxygen? Just- just breathe very slowly like you do- How? Do you know what breathing is? Do you know what breathing is? <laughs> it's extending your rib cage, right, intercostal muscles between the ribs, contract like that, Okay, making the rib cage expand, which pulls air in through. It's like a bellow. 
that you can't just breathe by via the mind. It's a physical process. It's your rib cage. <gasps> well, maybe, maybe I'm special, but I can do little breaths without my rib cage. Play a record, Steve. <laughs> yeah, you're special. Play a record. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You, you can't take little breaths well, without moving your rib cage. Can I just give you the titles because we're running out of time. We've got a competition to do. Okay, well, all right. Let's just it. leave the anaconda so discussion. That, Why don't you agree to disagree and we'll <laughs> see who survives if, we, if you crash <laughs> land in the jungle. <laughs> Thin Lizzy, don't believe a word on XFM 104.9. I'm gonna miss this show. It's been good. You won't be the only one. No, well, you know, so we're, we're, we're come back again. We've got, we've got a lot to do over the next few months, but maybe, maybe, maybe for Christmas or just after. But I still call Carl every day anyway. Oh, sure. Uh, um, today I called him, um, a couple of days ago. Of course you did. And I went, uh, that was the weekend, I went, what are you doing? He went, oh, just in Regent's Park and that. What are you doing? He said, just going for- uh, Oh! Jesus! I went, what? He went, a caterpillar just fell out of the sky. I went, what? He went, a caterpillar just fell out of the sky. God, it's there, it's wriggling around. I went, sure a bird didn't just drop it. He looked at it and went, oh yeah. <laughs> Of course it did. Yeah. For a moment he thought caterpillars were raining from the sky. I thought I was- I was- I was in chicken licking. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. What- why did you think a caterpillar had fallen out of the sky? Oh, it just startled me a bit. <laughs> I love Carl being stuck. I love the idea of him straight on the phone to Trevor McDonald. Look, Trevor, there's, there's caterpillars, there's insects falling out of the sky. They're falling out of the sky now. Put it on the news, quick. Are you sure there wasn't a bird? Oh, there was a bird. Yeah, sorry, Trev. Bye. <laughs> but it was weird. after, like, I hung up, well, I hung up the phone and that from you. I sort of, uh, sat there for a bit watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine him cross-legged, just in front of it. But do you know what? Grass. Because- because of his shape, the shape of his head, and his sort of IQ, I bet the caterpillar was thinking, Mama. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Go and, on. Uh, it was, it was sort of running about all over the place, right, Steve? So the caterpillars have loads of feet and that, don't they? <laughs> wow. Well, they have six legs. They're actually a larva of an insect. They have six legs, but they have little sucker things to hold on to the uh, cabbages and that. No, they've got more than that. They've it's got. Like... I tell you, they have got six true legs. Trust me. Trust me, I'm a scientist. And you were thinking what, Carl? Well, it was. But they've got little, it. they've got little pods. They've got little um, pseudo part legs mm. and they're little suckers, yeah. But it was running about like everywhere, right? Mental, but sort of <laughs> running off to the left, and then it sort of went back to where it was, <laughs> then back, you know, went r right and what have you. And I'm just thinking, whoever gave them the legs, right? <laughs> what's the point if they don't know where they're going and that? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If you can get about- Imagine that sentence. Do you hear that just- did you hear that sentence? Can we play that <laughs> sentence back? No, I don't no. think we can. Imagine who gave him that legs. Whoever- whoever- whoever gave him them legs, what's the point if they don't know where they're going and that? And that. Always and that. And that, but- but maybe you just- to be fair to the caterpillar, with all its legs, okay, and you'd know where it's going, it had just been plucked from its house by a bird shot up into the sky and then dropped from 80 feet, hitting the ground. Onto the head of a weird, bold, shaved monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably concussed. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's one of them things again, though. But I it mean... still knew more about the world than you. How does that make you feel? I just, I just think it's a waste of time having all them feet. It's the same thing as the, uh... <laughs> now it's got feet, feet yeah. now! It has all a the, nightmare uh, behind shoes, doesn't it, Carl? <laughs> all the, uh, what was it, what was it you were saying about leeches and that? Cause we were talking about insects. Well, they're not insects. All these, they're not insects. What are they? Well, I think they're probably, uh, class, they're probably platy helminth. Probably a, yeah. sort of like a flatworm. Type thing. That's they what you were thinking, wasn't it, Carl? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know what the phylum is, but there's no. They'd, uh, they'd be. Yeah. What was uh, the leech? Uh, what was an interesting? Well, leech it's a, there's an experiment uh, um, where you get a maze for a leech, and there's a bit of blood thing, and it learns. It eventually finds its way to the blood. Okay, and then it knows. Okay. And if, you, if you put it back to where it starts, it knows where it straight. It goes straight towards it because it's learnt it. If you liquidise that leech right. and feed it to some leeches who have never done the maze, because of a thing called chemical memory, they find their way straight to the blood. That is extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, it's it's in, it's incredible. We should try that at Hampton Court one weekend. <laughs> 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 but, but maybe with some tourists. <laughs> Just blend up some tourists. <laughs> or the people on them, I'll tell you who would do it. Those people who go on um, Celebrity Love Island. Any of them. They would do anything it. to get yeah. out of them. They will be liquidised. People <laughs> have enemas. They will do 
and they wank off pigs. They will do anything to get on yeah. telly. What about that? Be liquidised and fed to a n get get one D celebrity slapper, uh, liquidise her and feed her to another slut. So we blend and see if she can tippers. find her way <laughs> and see if she can find her way to Channel Five. Yeah. What <laughs> a brilliant show, hosted by Jimmy Carr. Of course. That'd be amazing. What kind of conversations would you have then with your What are you saying? Stuff? Do you moan about how overworked you are and stuff to her? Uh, uh, just, I mean, they're always surprised when I'm getting in late and that. It's like, you know, what have you done today? Oh, I've just got in from work and it's like half past eight at night. A lot of people get home at half eight, Carl. Uh, Next. You know, uh, <laughs> just saying how's the flat going? I was yeah. asking my dad some DIY tips the other day. Mm. Um, you know, the usual sort of stuff mm. we talk with your mum and dad, mm. really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> talking about the bisons with them. I was with watching, uh, did you watch the mammals in the week? Oh, David it. Attenborough. No. I was thinking actually, right, all this MTV stuff, if there's one reason why I'd like to do it, yeah. is I was watching Attenborough, the, the mammals program, I reckon I could do something like that. <laughs> right. Right. And just have, have like me, instead of Attenborough, like a, you know, a young sort of fresh person. Yeah. Uh, watching like, um, certain animals and saying, do we need these? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what right. I mean? Yeah. Oh God! What's going on? Death on Earth. Well, that's, just... that's amazing. Do yeah. we need these? And, no, and, there's and, loads the, of stuff. and the audience at home would vote. <laughs> would there be some kind of telephone yeah, like vote? A vote out system? Oh, yeah. that... The thing is, is yeah. like, I, it's something interesting that Amber was saying the other night <laughs> on, uh, <laughs> Do we need these? on Jonathan Ross's show on his telly show. Right, he was saying uh, he said you could take all the humans off the Earth and it would carry on, but take like some animals off it, mammals and that. You got problems on your hands. Mm. I thought that was quite interesting. Yeah. So it's like the question is, do we need these? Is that part of the big thing? Right. Like jellyfish. Yeah. We've talked about jellyfish. Yeah. Yeah. So which mammals in particular were you, you talked about? Like Bull Show, haven't you? Hey. <laughs> which mammals uh, were you thinking we don't need when you watched the show the other night? Um. Any in particular that you thought they don't need them? They're not of interest. Well, I like I like whales, but I don't know what they do. I know. <laughs> Uh, okay. And they're, they're taking up quite a lot of room. Sure. Um, <laughs> but stuff like, <laughs> yeah. but like um, jellyfish, <laughs> I looked into because yeah, you know, well, I was no, talking you about them, yeah. and um, they were saying they've got no eyes, no art. <laughs> uh, they're something like ninety-seven percent water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they're blind, and they do about thirty-three miles a day. Right. So it's like, <laughs> do we need them? Could Pointless. we clear them out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, a big net. That would that would be the the program. What what? Right. We'll get rid of them. Uh, next week we'll be looking at. Uh, Rhinos. <laughs> I think it's like genius. That, yeah. Honestly, I think it's genius. And like going along, sort of like picking up sea enemies and going and just lobbing them into the sea. Well, what do you think about MTV doing that? And then I, I just in between the bits, play music I play music related, related to, to fish. So I could play like fish. Yeah. That rock guy. Or uh, the rock, animals. Rock lobster. Yeah. Or uh, yeah. what else could this I get This could in run there? and run. What other what songs have got animals in them? The well, monkeys? Could play the monkeys? Yeah, there's about a million, so let's not start this. No, yeah. but do you know yeah. what I mean? So, 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 but, so, do we need this? So MTV Carpet. flies you around the world and to the most incredible exotic locations. You sort of climb up a tree or whatever next to, I don't know what lives up a tree, some kind of rare parrot. You say, sloth. look at that, it's colourful, sloth. it's interesting. Oh, you like sloths, don't you? No, they just live up trees, but I'd say, do we need them? Mm. Why? Well, what do they do? What do you mean, what do they do? What do you want from an animal? Carpentry? What well, like, do you want? I don't, I don't like scorpions, right? Right. But then I found out they look after those, uh, those monkey things. They're not are, monkeys, they're whatever. lizards! Well, Alright, yeah, them lizards, they look after the lizards. <laughs> look so there's a reason. But, but do you need the lizard? Could be well, your they, next yeah, question. because the local people made shoes out of them. But not when the scorpion protected them, they didn't. Alright, we don't need them then. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, and, and so ultimately, you, would anyone decide? I mean, do the animals kind of get a chance to mount a case for their survival? I mean, is there maybe someone that comes into their yeah, corner yeah, and no, defends I'd have, them? I'd have like a David Attenborough type character who says, right. well, they do this, and I'll go, yeah, but do we need that doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And so what, what does an animal need to do in order for you to feel that it sort of gets a chance of life? I mean, like a pet, like an animal, like a dog maybe, or a cat, I mean, they give a certain affection to its owner. Is that a valid, uh, reason to survive? Not uh, particularly. Not really. No, okay. I've been saying that though. Blind people use dogs, so they are useful. So dogs are useful. Farmers Saint Bernard, use they dogs. Save people, don't they? In yeah. snowy weather. Cats. I'd have to think about it. Okay. Keep the mice down. Yeah, but yeah. you got rent to kill. Okay. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> uh, what I'm saying is something that will affect the world. 
Right. I think you'll find everything does. I think you'll find everything does. Mm. Except Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what effect he's having on the world. I tell you what though, Steve, right? Did you watch the mammals? I did see the mammals. They had, uh, they had bison on it. Right. The weirdest looking things you've ever seen. Yeah. They've mm. really Again, got you're on dangerous ground no, no, here, no, no, Carl. No, they've really got a- <laughs> it's like- Decide what you want to look like. Okay. It's just a mismatch of stuff. It's got a really big airy head. Yeah. Um. Unlike you. Sort of bald at the back. Right. Uh. Sort it's of. It's like someone you went to school with. <laughs> <laughs> Was there two of them? Ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> Cardigans, you're the storm on XFM 104.9. <laughs> if anyone from Heart or Magic or Radio 1 or Radio 2 is listening, could well be available come October. Yeah. All right. Please get in touch. Yeah. Um, I think that my new TV is too big, Rick. I said that. I know, when you I, it. I was thinking. But I, I, I can't believe it. He talks about this buying it. He's got a bit of cash now, of course. And uh, what is it? 42 inches? Mm. 42 inch plasma screen. What did it cost you? Three grand or something? I don't tell. That's, that's, that's Wow, huge. it's three ridiculous. Three and a half grand. Three and a half grand. Big spender. Uh, of course it's too big. Well, I can't get far enough back in my room, in my living room for it. You know, you know, it's for, you're meant to be, I think, four times the screen size away from it. Really? To get out from the air. So that's four times 42 inches you're meant to be sitting away from it, which is impossible. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'll have to just get friendly with the neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch it through a hat. <laughs> yeah. if, if that's the case, though, aren't you better off just getting a portable? What? I don't understand that rule. What, what, you get... what are you saying? Well, you're meant to be four times the screen size away from the TV. But that's then what's the, rest... the point in having a big telly if you've got to keep moving further back? Get a portable <laughs> and sit and right sit next to it. <laughs> Is that how they sell it? Is that what they say to you? Well, no, it's a rule, but I see- I do see your point. Why do people go to the cinema then? Did you see films that aren't out yet? <laughs> Fair enough, he's got you there. Dom. I tell you this though, <laughs> I had it delivered and um, I, are you supposed to tip delivery men? Of course you I are. I don't know. You well, said, well, if I, I've never had anything delivered before. I've never well, no, not, if it, not if it's a courier with an envelope, but if it's a bloke who struggled up the stairs, I two, the door two fat it. blokes with a fridge, then give him a fiver for a drink. But, but the problem was, I didn't realise, and I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I've got to tip him. And the guy was leaving, and my mobile phone went off in my pocket, yeah. and I reached in to get it. He put his hand out, thinking it was a tip. I went, oh, it's just my phone. Oh. And I felt terrible after he left. I didn't know. I, what was I going to do? Run down the street and now for him a fiver? No. No, of course not. No. I'm not made no. money. I just spent it all on <laughs> TV. <laughs> yeah, I got no money, mate. Yeah. I just spent it all on yeah. this. I had to clean out my jar, exactly. everything, the drawers. Uh, yeah, I'd take some um, yeah, bottles back. What, what, but you, I, what? The problem was, it took me forever to wire it in. I thought I'm not going to pay for someone to wire it up, you know. So it took me about three hours to wire it in, and it was huge. And I got it switched on, and the first program that was on when I got it wired in was Bargain Hunt. I'll tell you this, David Dickinson's tan almost took me eyeballs out. <laughs> it? Okay. it was incredible. It was, oh, it was like, it was like x-rays. <laughs> so the close. Glove. You know, a, a huge plasma screen with this orange thing yeah. coming out. And, and he keeps, and he keeps turning to the camera, <laughs> course, doesn't he? Just grin. to get you. Yeah, he turns away, you get a bit closer. They go, what's he doing? He just turns <laughs> around, <laughs> yeah. takes the cornea off. What do you think, Bargain Hunters, Bargain Hunters, Bargain Hunters? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, well, that's why I'd buy a plasma screen to watch, um, to watch Bargain, Bargain Hunt. Hunt. I mean, it's due because this is the problem, is because you, yeah, what do you I watch? I mean, have you watched anything that that's been worth having. The I only mean, thing I've watched really worth watching. Twenty four. Well, on, yeah, twenty four works great, but yeah. also films. Obviously, that's the main reason mm. I bought it because films just look amazing on there. Yeah, DVD on on yeah. the plasma yeah. screen. So if you're into films and that, yeah. it's just that I only, you know, I've just got the got the five channels and flicking about, and I'm I'm not impressed. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why more people listen to radio and stuff. Yeah. Cause well, not this one, but go on. Well, <laughs> I, when was it? When was uh? The last time I sort of sat down and had time, because I'm always busy doing stuff on that. Sure. Um, Moaning takes up about three hours a day. Mm. When did, when did Wimbledon, uh, finish? A couple of weeks ago. Right. Found myself sat there, right, and I'm not having a go. I know we stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week and all that, right, so Christ. I'm not, I'm not gonna be having a go. Christ. I sat there. I'm scared. No, I'm not having a go, you've always got to remember that. Come I'm on, just, just, just get on with it, get on with it, I'll apologise after. I'm just saying, watching Wimbledon, it wasn't, uh, you know, one of the major games, it was, uh, right. Little fellas in a in a wheelchair having a having a game. Little fellas in a wheelchair. Right. But for me, I mean, you know, great. They're doing a the sport and everything. But don't put it on the telly. <laughs> what was up with it? It wasn't. There wasn't like a rally going on. <laughs> oh, God. 
No, do you know what I mean? Do you know oh, normally, Christ. like, with the, with the, with the, well, not to Enman, but with some of the other, <laughs> with, with some of the other players and that, they're playing for ages, aren't they? It's like, yeah. oh, who's gonna win this and that? Yeah. None of that. It was just like, hit it, net. <laughs> oh, Christ! Oh, God! I don't know what to do! What, 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 and people, people would like sat there watching it as well when they've got other games going on in there. That's what I couldn't understand. If you've paid your money to oh get God. in, yeah. I mean, like I say, good on them if they. Do you know what I mean? But it would have been. I and they know, all I, start first in the marathon. I just thought it would have, you know, give them a game of swing ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah, 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 I understand. Oh, God. Yeah. There's never anything XFM on. XFM in the community. <laughs> Brilliant. Can anyone confirm? Actually, I had an email earlier, um... Swing ball! <laughs> no, I'm not having a go, though. Tell them. This is what I'm like, aren't I? You, uh, sorry, this is recording you as well. What do you mean I'm not having a go, tell them? Do you, what, you no, think you just said that to I mean? me? That you, do you think you haven't got a microphone? You just said to London, keep wheelchair sport off the telly, because they can't get a rally going. You called them little fellas in wheelchairs. What? And I meant to go, what Carl meant was... What? I mean, what? <laughs> they can hear you as well. Yeah, I know. It's just that they might think that I'm, I'm having a go, and I don't want them to. That's why I stopped Cheeky Freak of the Week because some people got the wrong end of the stick, right? And what have you? So, well, it was funny that a woman was born with deformed legs. They might think you were taking the mech. <sighs> so anyway, I just was wondering if anyone could confirm. We had an email earlier. I forget who sent it in, but thanks very much indeed for it. They said that the Paralympics began this week, and apparently, what during the opening show, the entertainment was provided by Riverdance. <laughs> Now, I don't know, I, I don't know if that, I can neither confirm nor deny that, but it does seem rather tactless. <laughs> Let's play a tune, Ricky Gervais, <laughs> Ricky Don Gervais. XFM. Don't put my name <laughs> to this last link. Don't put my name to this last link. Ricky Dot Gervais, XFM dot co UK. Oh, Magic, God. Virgin, if you're listening, we are available probably sooner than we thought. <laughs> J. Harvey on XFM 104.9, the home of the classics. Absolutely. Classics. Classics. Classics, classics, classics. Oggy, oggy, oggy. Oi, oi, oi. Um, well, we were uh, <laughs> talking earlier about this, um, uh, as this book, They Died Young, right? And it's all these theories about these people, uh, like famous people that, um, uh, aren't really dead. And I remember speaking to someone about this, okay? And they said to me, Bruce Lee is not dead. <laughs> right? They said he's not dead, right? Uh, and I thought I said, well, um, how do you know? He's going, no, it was a whole big thing by the Hong Kong government, and he's actually working as an undercover cop in Hong Kong. <laughs> I, I using, did this. Using his, his kung fu powers. Now- No, he's, apparently he faked his own death, Carl, yeah. so that he could work undercover for the Hong Kong yeah. police, infiltrating gangs, the triads, that sort of thing. Now, my point is this, if you're gonna use someone undercover in Hong Kong, right, you know, an undercover cop. I suggest using the most famous Chinaman of all time. That, yeah, that would that's be- that's a guarantee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, when he's taking away a gang, they're going, you look a bit like Bruce Lee. He's going, no, no, I don't, no. See this, this moustache? It's a bit wonky. Well, it's, I just, just take my word for it. I'm not Bruce Lee, all right? Well, all that stuff you did when you were punching us and kicking us and chop, yes, but Cohen, I'm not. Yeah. It does look a bit like the stuff in my film, in, in his films. In his films, yeah. But it's, it's not. It does it's not. just coincidence. No. Yeah. The thing, the thing is, though, and not sounding bad here, not trying to offend anyone, but they do all look the right. same. They okay. do all look no, the same. No, no, it's no. I've not no. You know, we're having a serious chat. I'm right. Not, I'm not, you know, I'm not here to upset anyone. Right. And what I'm saying is, over here- I'm so sorry. No, I'm not- Yeah, but you know me, I'm not- I'm not out to upset right. anyone. Right. You're not a racialist. No. What so, do you mean? You, you, are you saying all right, people is, all look alike? Well, look, look at the people over here, right? Yeah. With like, you've got no, you've got ginger this... people. Oh, you've got people with black hair. You've got people who are fat. Mm. People who are thin. Mm. But they're all so sort of fit, which isn't a bad thing. They all do that sort of thing in the park. They're all fit. It's a place where black hair. I mean, when they come here, they take pi pictures of people with ginger hair, don't they? Because they don't get them over there. That's what I'm saying. So calm down. Jeez. So you're saying that Bruce Lee 
the most famous Chinese movie star of all they time. They can't tell him apart. Other <laughs> other trial <laughs> members would. How are they? I mean, how are they going about the business at all? I yeah. mean, what I'm saying is, how, how would they how, even realise yeah. that, that was the, the guy? What do they have to do? Wear numbers in you know because there's 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 a billion. No, but of when, them. You, when you know them, then you know. So what? Oh, I see. They can tell each other apart, can they? Well, they got signals. <laughs> I- this is amazing, isn't it? That's how he got away with Simon, it. Simon, which one are you? Just raise your hand, Simon. <laughs> yep. Chang, which one's Chang? Chang, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it must be murder, mustn't it? Just- That can be the only People one. going into the wrong houses, all the time, <laughs> getting off with their mates' wives. Exactly. Yeah. It must be a nightmare, then. It must be a nightmare. Um, this uh, can't he please don't complain, he doesn't know what he's doing. So I'm really sorry to anyone who's heard. Uh, he honestly does not know what he's saying. <laughs> XFM 104.9. Yeah, but what I'm saying is... Go on. I don't think I am offending anyone. <laughs> okay. Fine, that's alright then. And you know that I wouldn't want to do that. No, I know you don't. Oh, no. I swore oh, I know. Radio. I said, right, if you've got kids in the car, turn your radio down. <laughs> So before you make any potentially racist remarks, just point out if you are listening and you might be Oriental. Yeah. Please don't take offence. Or go. Oh, oh. You know what I mean. So yeah. Go on then. So what? What was this other dead person? Who's not? <laughs> Can't play a record. Ricky's having a heart attack. We'll come back.